Hello and welcome to the Half Ass Homestead. My name is Angie and today I'm going to be covering my top 10 favorite homesteaders. I'm going to be choosing five large creators and five smaller creators. Um, the division line between large and small is 50,000 subscribers. We're going to be starting with my five large homestead vlogging channels first. The homesteading family has an incredible base of how to knowledge and step-by-step. -step. Um, they are full of original ideas and intricate how-tos. They have classes if you so prefer. They cover multiple preservation methods like canning, dehydrating, and freeze drying, etc. They do some vlog style videos, but those are a little farther and fewer between. I do, however, enjoy their extremely family friendly content. Um, though their family is worlds apart from mine, I enjoy it. Roots and Refuge Farm. I have been following her since before COVID. I have been following Jess for a long time and she is one of my favorite YouTube channels. I remember I was drawn I was brought to her channel because I was looking for trellising ideas and I have been a subscriber ever since she's very real they're not afraid to show things as they happen they are very upfront with their audience even when I personally would be moderately guarded in sharing certain things like breaking ground on their house and stuff like that I do aspire to be more like Jess, um, very upfront. The seasonal homestead. This channel does not post as much as I'd like one of my regular channels to post. The seasonal homestead though has been very upfront about how hard it is to do the job and they're very upfront about the problems it is when you're homesteading. And that's what I like, though they don't post much the videos that they do post are very high quality and I am here for it. Simple Living Alaska. When it comes to Simple Living Alaska, I feel like they are very similar and very relatable to myself and Andy. I know one of our goals is to be more sustainable and they seem to be doing just a fine job at that. Um, they are doing the beekeeping thing. They do a lot of hunting and foraging which I very much do respect. And they're doing it in Alaska, which I feel like if I had to, I could make it in Alaska, but I don't know if I really want to. I think, I think possibly like the UP is about as, about as much as I can handle. Um, they keep it very simple um, and straightforward. And that's what I really like about Simple Living and I've been subscribed to them for probably three to four years. And they also have really nice footage. So um, Hopewell Heights, they're another very Christian homestead type vlog. Just had a lot of content on fertility and natural childbirth, which I do quite enjoy your content, but she's very simple. Her ideal aesthetic is very similar to mine. Yes, that concludes the section for our big time vloggers. On to our smaller vloggers. Um, a lot of these guys have 50,000 subscribers or less, so they haven't hit the big time yet, but I have a feeling they will. The first is Seed and Sparrow Homestead, which they are very religious. I do like her very, her vlog style is so laid back and mellow. Um, there's a lot of how to videos and like, you know, canning along or cooking recipes, stuff like that, which I do thoroughly enjoy her content the way it is. She also has like a bit of aesthetic to her videos, which I do, I do, I do appreciate. Um, Sparkman Homestead. Now, I just don't know what it is. I feel like with Krista, we could be friends in real life. Um, 
I feel like we're very similar in a way. She has a lot of firsts and stuff like that, which I've already been around for like a lot of my firsts when it comes to homesteading. I just don't know. Her demeanor is so relatable. And I mean, honestly, I'm here for it. I even with like, she's been having issues with her eye and like treatments and stuff like that. I'm here for it. I'm constantly waiting for her to post her next video, which hasn't been as often as of late, but that's okay. And it's all in her own time, which considering the circumstances, I understand. But just know, like her situation is very similar, I feel like to mine. And I just enjoy watching her content. Calico Cow Acres. Let's talk about Calico Cow Acres. It's more of a recent discovery. I've probably discovered her within the last like six months to eight months or so. Um, I discovered her through, she said, podcast. And she's she has a podcast with Terranova Acres, which I do. Terranova Acres gets an honorable mention. It's just she's not quite as relatable to me. Now she's more relatable to my former self, my single self, <laughs> but still very relatable. Tara Nova Akers gets an honorable mention, but I don't know what it is about Michaela. I feel like yet another YouTuber where like, if we knew each other in real life, we could definitely be friends like with the ducks and the chicken. I don't know. She's very upfront with her trials and tribulations. And I think, I think her channel is going to go somewhere. I really do. And Cedar Hills Homestead. They are based in like Wyoming or Montana. This is a newer channel that I have subscribed to. And they have the very organic vloggy style, but they really do some good cost breakdowns on like what you're going to need for feed to grow certain animals out and what it takes. So you're not surprised. Um, honestly, keeping me very entertained. I've been binge watching those videos as of late because I've just found the channel. And I think, I think yet again, that is another channel that can go places and it's just a matter of time. So those are my top 10 favorite home setting channels. I really hope you guys go check out each and every one of these guys. There are tons more channels that I do enjoy, but these are the ones that I have been waiting the most for new content to come out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.